Hello Cancer, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, this is your reading for the month of uh, October 2021 and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, also Cancer, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Cancer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent your energy. Then I'm going to place a couple of cards over here and they will represent the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with. In between, I'm going to place a couple of cards and they will represent the mutual energy between you and your person. Okay, thereafter, we'll pull out some uh, romance angel cards, oracle cards. And with the help of these cards, we'll see what are the romantic feelings these this person has for you right now okay all right so let's get started <clears throat> five of cups then we have is nine of cups and we have is ten of wands the chariot nine of uh, pentacles and the devil then we have is three of cups and we have is ten of wands okay let's pull out some romance angel cards as well okay i'll discuss the romance angel cards at the fag end but i'm gonna lay them down right now So, Cancer, you may be dealing with another Cancer, you may be dealing with a Capricorn, okay? You may be dealing with uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and is... Um, I'm hearing Aries and, Aries and Libra, okay? If the sign pops up all the better, let's not remain fixed on the signs. You may be seeing a lot of 999. You may be seeing a lot of 1111. You may be seeing a lot of 555. Okay. So we have is 5 of cups, 9 of cups and 10 of wands for you, Cancer. Cancer, what I feel is that maybe a past person came back and you rejected them or someone from the past is going to resurface. However, I feel that you are in no mood to take anyone from the past. You know that you know you're transforming. You know that you're rising up in your life. You know that you are a much better person okay, than your past person. You are a better person even when you met them and you are a much better person even as of now. Okay. So, you don't want to invite toxicity. Is What I feel is that this person is a bit toxic given the fact that we have devil card over here. But other than that also we have five of cups and ten of wands besides uh, nine of cups. Okay. You are trying to protect yourself. Okay. You are trying to protect what you have done so far during the separation period you have worked on yourself okay and you don't want to allow toxicity to affect you you don't want to allow the toxicity to pull you down all over again okay so if anyone is coming towards you you are sending them back look at this the ten of wands and five of cups you are with your energy is represented as nine of cups but whosoever is coming your way you're sending them back, okay? You're rejecting them. Or it's a disappointment because of the rejection or you, you're asking someone to work on themselves, okay? What I see is that you are not accepting anyone right now, okay? Because you don't want to lower your energy. Till the time you don't feel a positive energy, till the time you do not feel 
that they have worked on themselves i see that you are not going to entertain anyone or for that matter even if they come towards you as a transformed person there is no energy i don't see an energy of you wanting to entertain anyone from the past okay whether they have worked on themselves or they don't have worked or, or they ha they haven't worked on themselves okay as far as your person is concerned cancer we have is the chariot we have is nine of wands and we have is the devil your person is angry because they are thinking that there is someone else in your life you are becoming interested in someone else or you are doing good for yourself you are happy without them okay they thought that you would never be happy without them they thought that uh if you separate yourself from this person you won't be able to find happiness anywhere else this person was absolutely wrong for the in fact what i see is that they were codependent on you for their happiness this person was also an energy vampire for some of you they sucked out the energy from you to refill their energy their energy tank okay and some of you may have felt drained in the presence of this person this person is angry that you are happy without them you are doing good without them this person is angry that you are attracting so many people uh, in your life okay there is a possibility of a new person coming your way who is going to be very honest cancer who is going to be very transparent uh, regarding what they feel what they want to have with you what are their intentions towards you i see that there there will be no there will be no games okay there is no one's going to play around with anyone uh this person is going to be very honest and sincere about their feelings from day one itself and what i feel is that the connection will be very instant the moment both of you see one another uh the relationship will start from there only okay this person knows that No, they know you i'm talking about a new person this new person knows you but probably you don't know them or you haven't noticed that they have interest in you there is a likelihood that you may meet this person through work or during travel time okay but someone is angry over your cancer someone is angry that you want to move on okay they this person wants to chain you down i don't sense anything like they have some sincere intentions or they have worked on themselves all they want to do is chain you down they just don't want you to move on in your life they they don't want you to find your happiness with someone else okay first of all they are extremely jealous and secondly it's like they are just this crazily obsessed person about you okay uh as far as the mutual energy is concerned three of cups and 10 of swords there is going to be um, there you will experience moments of happiness because uh, love is getting expressed feelings are getting expressed and most likely this is uh, the moments of happiness will be with a new person okay and you moving on is is going to end lot of chapters i also see you ending certain friendships maybe uh someone betrayed your trust someone from your friends circle betrayed your trust someone from your friends circle uh they they took the sides of uh, your past person or they helped your past person in manipulating you or something like that i see you cutting out certain people from your life okay i see uh you proceeding ahead in your life you starting something new and you ending something is what i see okay there are there are going to be celebrations around uh, whatever new is happening in your life now let's see what what this person thinks and feels about you release your ex the time has come to clear your energy yeah so universe wants you to release your ex they think that this is a true love this can also be look these messages can also be construed as messages from universe okay these messages can also be construed as uh, romantic messages from your past person okay so take how it resonates okay this is probably these two cards are like a universe wants to say something to you like whoever next is coming your way is a true love but before that you have to release your ex okay 
then engagement there is a possibility of engagement engagement happening over here i told you right someone is going to be quite sincere and honest with their feelings healing family issues someone needs to heal their family issues family issues are a sort of a blockage for you to experience that 10 of cups situation 10 of pentacles situation we have 9 of cups and we have 9 of pentacles so you are just one step away from the final happiness the ultimate happiness right so maybe you want to focus on healing family issues that is sort of stopping you from reaching your ultimate happiness attraction someone is extremely attracted to you i feel this is more or less about obsession okay so your past person is quite a lot obsessed about you okay all right i hope this resonates cancer hit like share and subscribe and comment down below till then bye bye